Hello ladies and gentlemen and a very warm welcome to you. My name is Alex of Small Cars Direct and I'm here to present this rather fresh looking Peugeot 2002 52 registered 206 1.6 petrol manual as you can see it's finished in metallic silver and sports the rather stylish set of 14 inch alloy wheels which are in great condition and it's my job to give you a full and comprehensive walk around video of 206 to give you guys at home the confidence to decide whether you wish to reserve this car which you can do right now via the small cars direct website just uh, go onto the website click on the 206 scroll down and you can find the reserve option there you can reserve the car for just 99 pounds um, just for a couple of days to allow you guys a chance to come and view or you may even wish to have the vehicle delivered to your door because we do offer a nationwide delivery service as well now this particular example was covered just 74,000 224 miles from you and it's a three owner example just three owners and uh, the last mature lady owner owned it for nearly 16 years so uh, genuinely quite sad to see the car go we managed to buy the car privately from her which is very good uh, nice to be able to get a chance to drive the car see the car in person to just make sure that it's one that we'd be happy to sell ourselves and here we are so uh, mot was uh, carried out in september it's got mot that runs to september 2021 and uh, the level of spec on this particular 206 you will be hard pushed to find a more higher spec 206 of this age maybe wrong but um just having a look around the car you've got the fixed panoramic roof with electric blind which um, lets loads of light into the cabin and I'll show you that shortly and um, that's possibly its uh, best party trick so to speak but it also comes with a half leather uh, suede I'd probably describe it uh, type interior which is really really nice it's also got the arch extensions and also comes with the sports pack Peugeot front, lower and upper bumper grills as well. Mesh grills, which uh, just sharpen up the appearance somewhat. And um, what I'll do, I've taken a brief walk around the car. So you've already probably ascertained that this car is in really nice order. As I walk around, there's no major scuffs or dents that stand out to me or probably yourself actually having uh, taken a quick walk around the car uh, but obviously it's uh, not without its marks uh, being a car that's you know 18 years or so old so um, I'm going to pick some of those out for you just to kind of do the uh, job of viewing the car and critiquing it as best I possibly can so if we zoom in on the wheels now you'll notice that they are shod in a premium complete matching set of Michelin tyres and you've got loads of tread remaining across all four corners. In regards to the wheels, yes, you will find minor marks. See, so he's got some minor little bits of uh, flaking on the edge of the rim there. But overall, really, really presentable. And I do love the wheels. They're actually, um, they're quite cool, aren't they? They're like, uh, you know, five, five hold wheels. They're kind of like a replica of the GTI wheels, aren't they? Might be wrong. There you go, really presentable wheel there. And um, I think there's an advisory on the uh, MOT for the tyre, but there's, uh, there's a receipt not long after the MOT for a brand new Michelin. So that's probably been rectified by a most recent owner. And uh, I think there's an advisory as well for coil springs on the front, but we've had a look and they, they appear to be um, in good order. And we'll, we'll include the images on the um, auto trader advert of the coil springs and the tire tread depths for you for you to make your own mind up and you've also got these uh set of sports rear lights as well so 
That along with the rear spoiler. It's also got a Clarion 6 CD auto changer as well. Um, so there's really loads of spec. You've got climate control as well, remote central locking. You've got the chrome uh, tailpipe finisher, which isn't really chrome anymore, um, we'll be honest. But uh, that's possibly the only uh, real area where the car's showing its age. If you look down the side of the car, there's no large dents that stand out. You might find the odd small one. I think there's a really small one there. And um, it's a couple of little trolley marks there, but I'm sure we'll be able to uh, polish those out for you ahead of uh, pickup. Probably can't even spot it on the video, to be honest. The glass on the front's nice and clear. There's nothing to make you aware of there. You're going to find a few light scratches to the bonnet. Again, if they really bothered you, I'm sure we could uh, try and improve those for you. The lights, though, they're nice and clean and clear, which is good. There's no condensation or cracking. And the uh, sports pack Peugeot front grills that I was alluding to earlier. Here they are with the uh, genuine Peugeot badging there. And there's the upper one sitting just in that little recessed area too um, and there's no sign of any uh, obvious accident damage or any major oil leaks as well which is fantastic and um, what I'll do now is I'll take a look inside for you look nice and fresh nice condition there's no funny odors as well obviously I appreciate you can't you can't tell that so you have to take my word for it but yeah there's no funny no dog smells or anything like that it's um, all good and there's um, other than the usual uh, elements of wear to the um, velour or suede or whatever you want to call it um, the interior is actually really nice the uh, the uh, the leather seems to have held up quite well obviously got some uh, some signs of use there but it's nothing excessive there's no holes etc and um, the rest of the dashboard and the plastics are looking nice as well steering wheel still in good order same goes for the door cards. You've got auto lights and auto wipers and multifunction steering wheel for audio controls. You've got cassette and six CD auto chainer, which is located in the boot. And um, three headrests, which is nice. Spare wheel are usually located underneath. So there you go. Looks like it's a space saver for you located underneath. Um, let's have a look in the boot. Got a nice luggage cargo net to keep things from rolling around. You could um, put some bulky items there against the rear seats. There's a Clarion 60 auto, auto changer and the uh, magazine comes out there. So that's nice. Um, under here is nice and clean, but we've again, we've shown an image of that on the uh, Auto Trader advert. That's looking nice and straight. Uh, there is a wheel brace that's tucked just in in there but we've not been able to find a wheel jack um, in any obvious area in the boot there all the badging's nice and clean take a look in from passenger side for you just make sure i've not missed anything and everything is nice and presentable dorsal entries nice and fresh too I'll start the 206 for you, just so you can see there's no untoward warning lights on, see that it starts absolutely fine first time. And uh, I'll also turn the radio on, check out the engine bay. Let's do the engine bay now, seeing as the lever's just down here, you've got four electric windows, there's your rear buttons and there's your front buttons. You've also got front electric mirrors as well. Passenger airbag as well as side airbags fitted on the seats, both sides. Guys, if you haven't already done so, I would highly recommend you check out our reviews online um, because we have, I think it's around 190 reviews across all the different platforms. So just simply Google small cars direct reviews and you'll be able to check out what our customers have to say about us. So, you know, don't just take our word for it. Zoom in on the engine there. It's looking nice and dry. There's no sign of any obvious oil leaks, which is, um, well, to be quite honest with you, it's actually quite surprising. And um, these older Peugeots always seem to suffer with um, 
oily, especially around the top of the engine area there. So uh, it's quite refreshing to see one that's looking nice and dry. Uh, makeshift uh, washer fluid bottle cap, which uh, we've been left by the last owner, which is nice. So that's just a condition note to uh, make there. But other than that, I mean, look how fresh it looks. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? Even all around the top of the bonnet area, it's looking nice and clean. So let's jump inside, shall we? And um, what we'll do is I'll uh, turn the 206 on, just so you can see the start's fine. 74,224 miles. Seven and a half thousand miles or so until the next service due. And the oil level is bang on maximum, just where it should be. So there you go. Idling fine. No warning lights, no issues. And this car, service-wise, it's been serviced 11 times. It's been serviced at 3,000 miles, 17,000 miles, 33,000 miles, 41,000 miles, 47,000 miles. It's been serviced again at 52,000 miles, 58,000 miles. And serviced again at 62,000. 65,000, 70,000, and service most recently, just 1,500 miles ago, it's 72,743, and that was a full service. Had gearbox oil change, had brake fluid change, and um, what we'll do now is put the fan on, just to make sure this is uh, all A-OK. -okay. Cam belt was changed, uh, that was changed at 56,000, um, so just 18,000 miles ago, the Kambat was replaced at Peugeot, um, which uh, gives a good amount of peace of mind. And the MOT that runs to September next year was uh, carried out less than 400 miles ago. Let's turn that down now and see if we can um, work out whether the AC is kicking out cold. Let's give it a chance to do its thing should be able to get you an answer. It's certainly nice and powerful. And uh, viewings are available by appointment six days a week. So just get in touch, we can uh, carry out evening and indoor viewings, if you so wish. And we've been highly rated by Auto Trader for three years in a row obviously something we're maxi proud of and we've got a couple locking oil nuts in the glove box yeah very hard to tell it's six degrees outside but it does feel like that is getting very cold so For all intents and purposes, believe that to be working. Turn that off. So your auto lights on the left, auto wipers on the right, multifunction for the radio, etc. Over there. Um, passenger airbag deactivation is possible just here, which is nice. And your pan roof, fixed pan roof with blind. Just press and hold. Yeah, you've got to hold it. Wait for the camera to kind of sort itself out. If it will. And there you go. So if the sunlight is too much, it's too hot in here, there's too much glare, you can just close that blind. Um, and that is a really nice feature. Right, okay, I think I've talked for long enough. <laughs> Thanks a lot for uh, tuning in, if you have watched us all the way through. Um, as I say, my name's Alex, a small car so Please do get in touch with any questions that you may have and cross-reference what you've seen here with the Auto Trader images. Many thanks for watching and hopefully I'll hear from some of you soon.